Welcome to the ultimate guide for techno music theory. In just 10 minutes, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know as far as music theory to make techno both melodic and non-melodic tracks. To do this, I'm going to be using my 50 operator presets. Links at the top of the description. It's 50 awesome racks for Ableton using all Ableton sounds and effects. It'll work really well with the tips today. Let's dive in. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is techno is always going to be minor for the most part. Now, you can even make a track in a major key, but it would still be kind of a minor feel. So this is the scale. This is the minor scale that you use to make all these different kind of techno tracks. Right? It's all those voices. I'm sure that sounds pretty familiar when you hear it now, right? basically you can just take combinations of these so this is basically a C minor scale and then kind of play with that to create melodies right so as you can see we get that very quickly if you follow that scale right so the scale I'll put it out here for you now so basically it's root note ninth third minor third fourth fifth sixth minor seven and then back up to the root and basically what you're doing when you make a track like this is just picking from there and essentially creating like a rhythm with only a few notes from that and that's the key don't use too many notes at least when you're trying to like get something catchy or like a hook for your track it's like how i did back here just very simple you know you can really just pick like two or three of them and create something a lot of mileage out of the octaves as well so you can see you can do a lot once you get in that scale you can really write these pretty quickly now right and then the other scale that you kind of want to know is going to look like this so basically if we were doing this in C again you would do like this You can kind of play with either of those, honestly. But it's basically this. You just have the two notes a semitone apart, and then a whole tone, and then the semitone again. And it gives you that kind of like evil. And if you really want to, you can do. We all know what that is, right? So that can be a very powerful scale as well. And that one really sticks to that, you know, very simple because it really is just those four notes. You saw me go up there, so you could go like, you know, and that kind of has a very epic feel as well. So that's the scale. Now, as far as actually making these, you know, melodic things with techno, I usually like to start with that same scale and really like a bass line so maybe something like this and just pick maybe three voices and kind of create a bass line so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sixth fourth root note And so then we have a foundation, right? And then you can go and you can use that same scale again. And honestly, you can even just stick to those voices. Like, let's take this melody. Right? And it's very powerful because it's, again, just sticking to, like, a few voices. And we could do the same thing over here with that more evil scale, right? Like, let's write a bass line with that. Maybe we'll do, you know, and this is where it gets to that less melodic techno. Right? And then we can make a nice evil riff over that. You can 
take maybe a pad and use the same chord voices and maybe play with it. And you know, this is where you can kind of use a ma like a major chord or something, but kind of give it a more minor feel, right? Like, so what we're gonna do here is we're in C minor, so we're actually gonna use the sixth, and that's gonna make a major chord where the major third is that root note for the C minor. And what we can do is just have that journey and then do then that'll go down to the fifth Right, so you get this major chord, and then so if this was a major chord, this would be going from the root note down to the major seventh. But here it's in the C minor scale, so it's the sixth down to the fifth, and that works well with this like dark minor progression that we're doing. And it gives it kind of a little bit of melancholy. And then over here, if you wanted to do a pad kind of like for this more evil stuff, honestly, I like, you know, just droning. Just like one note, honestly. You know, do something like that maybe. Because, you know, this stuff, if you try to do too much with the chords, it can get really messy. If you want to, you can add this note in. But still sticking to those same voices, and that's what makes these MIDI files work so well together, is the fact that it's really just picking a few voices and sticking to it. You know, I could show you all the scales all day. I could show you even more scales than this. But really, if you don't keep it simple like that, it's going to just sound messy anyway. And yeah, so that's the ultimate guide to music theory for techno. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, to make this video, I used my 50 operator presets for Ableton. The links at the top of the description. Ableton's all you need to use these, and it'll take your tracks to the next level. Thanks for the support. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.